Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. And in this screencast I want to show you the brand new Lubuntu 12.04. And as you can see, Lubuntu 12.04 ships with an awesome new design. Besides that, Lubuntu 12.04 ships also with the latest and greatest from the LXDE world, just like for example the PC Man FM in version 0.9.10. And this version has improved networking support, so if you go to the Go menu, Network Drives, you have the capability to connect to NFS shares, to Zamba Windows Network shares and also SFTP shares, as I'm showing you right now. And you not only have the option to browse through your files here, you can also go into a directory, copy something over to your directory very very easy very very handy the default audio player under Lubuntu 12.04 is Audacious it not only comes with a very very slick user interface but also has some options to change for example the song information the ID3 tags of the song if you have an artwork in your ID3 tag it will also display this right in here Audacious not only has the feature to change your ID3 tags but also comes with a different user interface, a classic Winamp like user interface. Just click on view interface Winamp classic interface and then you get a Winamp 2 like interface. This interface is also skinnable via the Winamp 2 skins so just right click, click on view interface preferences and you have the option to set various different skins also Winamp 2 skins or a skin from XMS for example. Audacious also has the capability to create different playlists. You can store your whole media library, music library in one playlist and search for artist, title, genre or the album. So this is basically the default audio player Audacious. In the multimedia section Lubuntu 12.04 ships also with the video editor, uh, the video player, GNOME AMP player, which has the capability to not only open up local files but also play media from a server, a streaming server, playing some discs like audio CD, DVDs and video CDs, watching TVs, analog or digital, or even open up your iPod music library. Besides that, Lubuntu 12.04 ships also with GUVC view, which is a webcam viewing application, as you can see here. One of the coolest new features in Lubuntu 12.04 is the Lubuntu Software Center that you can find under the system tools. It's the little brother of the Ubuntu Software Center and it is specially written for lightweight, for lower computers, for slower computers and as you can see here it has a nice overview of different categories and you can click on games and you can see some games here like 3D Chess for example, you can click on information you get a nice screenshot of the application and you get a nice description. It also keeps track of those users who are running with low bandwidth so it will not download automatically the reviews of an application but you can click for check for reviews and it will then download those reviews files. You also have the option to go to the far upper right corner click on settings here and you can set some performance options just like for example render icons on or off or download screenshots if you don't want to want them to download automatically for running on low bandwidth uh, it is very very handy. You also have an expert mode which allows you to download some libraries and so on. So this is basically the Lubuntu software center. I can click on add to basket to add one software to, to the basket and if I go to the basket case here you can see that it's not only downloading 3D chess but also its requirements just like for example saw 3DG. I can also have the option to install uh, to see a list of installed software and here you can see that Lubuntu ships also with Abbey Word as the default office writing application and you can see Abbey Word is in its newest release in its development release 292 
it offers some better document importing settings and some document exporting setting as well as collaborating settings this is a pretty pretty nice office writing application another thing that's new in Lubuntu and which is pretty pretty handy a feature request actually in the latest in the in the last version in this release Alex Keymap gains the support for multiple keyboard layout management if you click on Alex Keymap you have now the option to set different keyboard layouts as you can see here I have set different keyboard layouts here you can if you don't see it you can click on tools and show hide profiles it will then show and hide your profile if I click on global you can see I have a German global keyboard um, layout set but I also have an second international keyboard layout which is the United States. I also have the option to set the key combination to switch between those keyboard layouts just by click on clicking on options and clicking on keys to change layout and here you can see I have a long list of keys that are available to changing the layout. I also have some other options just like for example choose the key to go to the third keyboard le level which is very important if you want to create some special characters you can change the control key position especially useful if you're running on a Chrome OS book or something like this or a MacBook and you have some other options just for example some options uh, to indicate your keyboard layout with the LEDs on your keyboard and some other options here as you can see here for for uh, Japanese language keyboard uh, you even have the option to uh, set the key sequence to kill the X server to control alt backspace again if you want to so this is a very nice and handy new feature in Alex Keymap so this is basically everything for this new Lubuntu 12.04 release of course Lubuntu 12.04 comes with the already known software from or already known software from the older releases but in new versions for example the internet browser Chromium web browser shipping with uh, this version 18 Pigeon for instant messaging, Sylphid for email, emailing, transmission for BitTorrent files as graphics applications you get the document viewer, empty paint and simple scan if you want to scan something in some games as you can see here the penguin games and some accessories just like the archive manager and the disc utility which gained a new design then you have the calculator you have an image viewer leafpad and LX terminal so let me open up LX terminal to show you which version of the kernel is running under the Ubuntu 12.04 as you can see here it's the brand new kernel 3.2.0 with some backported stuff so the Ubuntu SMP kernel which ships also with the Ubuntu release so this is basically everything for this screencast I hope you enjoyed this short introduction to the Ubuntu 12.04